Welcome to the Hi-Fi Hangar, 23rd of April, so a shop walk around. Uh, we'll start with the turntables. We've got um, an Audio Mod gyro deck sort of bits are made from most of a gyro deck and uh, uh, a fixed um, uh, chassis made by Audio Mods. It's quite interesting. It's got the, uh, the Rager RB303 arm on it. And then we've got an AR Legend, Lin Sondek, that's a mint one. Uh, the Yamaha YP400, which was used by Sonab. Uh, they painted it black and marketed it as the Sonab um, 75S, I believe. Uh, this is a Rager Inspire Rager, so everything's been, been changed on that. You've got a nice acrylic platter, Rager RP9 feet, I think, and um, various other modifications, and there's a Jelco arm ready to go onto that. Uh, See right here, a couple of little valve amps there. We've got a big um, Sansui 9500, one of the big ones in 1973, the biggest one they did then. Uh, it's a nice bit of kit. On the racks, we've got um, a Fonz turntable there. Uh, there's a TEP tape deck and it's a Nakami nice Nakamichi down here, which is the, uh, um, the 682ZX, which has got a nice high-end machine. Um, then we've got a Gold Jib Audio SC40. It's having the full mod kits done. There's three modification sections that have been done on that. Um, down the racks we've got a, a Cambridge Audio 640 which is nice. Um, Pure Sound, A30, fantastic integrated valve amplifier, I recommend those, they're great. Uh, and then a bit more stuff on the, on the rack and on the bottom is a Sugden um, power amp which is very nice. Uh, this is the big Pioneer 8717 which is a dual mono sort of Japanese beast from the sort of uh, late 80s, early 90s. Um, <clears throat> there's a bit of Solitaire gear there, the, the very good safety phone the stage. Um, we've got the Copeland, which is a customer one, unfortunately, because it's lovely and I'd love to take it home. Um, mint condition, and it's fantastic. A new set of valves put in that. Uh, we've got a Rega Planet down there. Um, some other Japanese bits. We've got a, a Sony 366, uh, a bit of quad, an early Philips 104. And on the top of the uh, shelves, we've got a couple of Akai 4000s. And then uh, along to the left, we've got all the bookshelf speakers. <coughs> Back around to the speakers, we've got the Tambergs, I think we mentioned them last time. Uh, the Norgale 401s, um, that's our homemade turntable. We've got the Gold Jew Audio um, preamp with its matching power supply. We've got to sort out a transformer for that. Uh, Snell Type C Mark 4s, which are rare, really, really good, good sounding Snells. Um, under the turntable we have a pair of Spendor SP1s, which are the sort of updated BC1. These are early serial number ones. Unfortunately, they're a little bit marked up, but they sound absolutely fantastic. We've got Kef Reference 103 fours um, with the UniQ drivers. We've got um, a set of Mission 753s in Rosewood, really nice condition. Some castles. And then uh, over, over here we have a pair of name IBLs, the Probably the rarest of the name speakers, you don't see these very often, they're the little small ones. Um, they're in lovely condition with their, their original stand. In the retro room today we have a pretty much classic audio setup from the sort of turn of the 70s. Uh, we've got a Thorin's TD150, uh, this is the Mark II with the billiard ball arm weight. Uh, a pair of Gale uh, GS401 chrome enders. Uh, we've got the Quad 303, 33 and FM3 which is all time classic bit of 70s gear, looks really good in the 70s room. Um, a pair of rectilinears, American things. <clears throat> That's about it for here. It sounds really good. I should put a little record on. This has all been serviced and working really well. Great sound out of the old Thorins. It's a nice bit of kit. In the modern room, come through. We've got our normal resident um, eminent technology LFT 8 beat. We're running a pair of the big um, Guy Sergeant Pure Sound 845 monoblocks with the matching um, preamplifier. I think that, that package of the two monos and the pre comes in at about 13,000. Uh, it's Guy's top stuff, but it sounds really, really good. Uh, we're running a squeeze box and um, a Deltec bigger bit, the one with the Philips 7 chip. And on the bottom of the rack, we've got a new Vista musical fidelity. This is the uh, newly built upstairs of the unit. So over here we have um, where we make our preamplifiers. There's our valve tester and things like that. And this corner, sorry about the mess, but in this corner is uh, where all the refoaming is done. So this is a, 
a batch of speakers that need to be refoamed. Uh, lots of BMW, sorry, um, JPW and Mission and AR and that sort of thing. A couple of hay books in the corner. And uh, yeah, so that's that's about it really. So um, any more information, go on to hifihanger.co.uk, our website. Click on the big F for the Facebook uh, and follow us on Twitter and all that stuff. See you next month.